London Jen here with the Jen O'Clock News. Now, we're talking bags and bodies today, but unfortunately we're not talking about a really dope shit that's going on. I'll have to cover that at some point very shortly. We've talked about it on um, Verified Source. Make sure you check that out on Battle Rap Trap. We're not either talking about the snake eyes and bad news fire, although that does come into play. We're talking about some really nasty allegations that um, one of the contestants, one of the competitors in the Bags and Bodies house put forward. Rock Lee has come out and said basically that bad news and snake eyes fight was caused because she didn't want to sleep with him. Um, that day, that evening, everybody was drunk. Snunk, Snake clearly wasn't handling his nicker very well. Um, and he kept trying it on with her. She doesn't like confrontation. She was saying she very tries to play down these sorts of situations, laugh them off, act like with good grace and not, you know, not kick up a fuss. So she just kind of laughed him off, brushed him off and then kept having to do it because he wouldn't listen to her, according to Rock Lee. Now, I've got clips from Snake Eyes Live. We're going to get into those. But Rock Lee um, gave a very full kind of account of the situation and how she feels about it on her caffeine channel um i'll link that down below so definitely go and check out what she's saying in her own words but we'll hear what snake has got to say now she's saying um she feels violated he violated her physically he violated verbally because after she turned him down he eventually cussed her out basically called called her all types of bitches and hoes and basically gave it you'll sleep with everybody else but you won't sleep with me type bullshit utter disgusting bullshit is the allegation um yeah she says she eventually kicked off and started you know barking back at him which is when bad news got involved and that led to their fight basically and bad news beating him up um now she says after that she didn't even want to go back to bed um by herself she didn't want it. she was scared um she went and got her taser there was another woman in the house that was sort of involved she didn't name her i'm not going to speculate about who she is either um i've reached out to rock lee to see how she feels about you know the media talking about the situation because it will happen um everybody will be talking about this situation today and she hasn't got back to me yet so i'm not really going to do too much but report about what has been said um so yeah she said you know she feels violated not only did that happen um but then he went to you know he went on and in the bad news battle she's saying you know he had 16 bars about me sleeping with someone else in the house which he's saying isn't true but even if it is you're battling bad news why the hell are you rapping about me and then she basically picked up the tag of house ho throughout the rest of the series as a result of snake eyes alleged nastiness um which is you know disgraceful it wasn't i don't believe caught on cam from what i'm seeing it wasn't something that was captured by the bags and bodies crew i don't know whether it was something that hitman spoke to snake eyes about i don't know if rock lee was spoken to about it if there was assurances but she said basically she just stayed away from him she kept around the people that she trusts she sees all the guys in there like uncles and one of them violated her so she stuck around the guys that she trusted i don't know what was done to make sure that she felt safe and you know protected because she clearly is saying that for a minute she didn't feel like that now snake eyes jumped on instagram live about half past one Eastern time last night, basically said nothing happened. We were drunk and conversating. Um, he was saying, you know, I've been here forever, basically implying no one's ever said anything about me before. So she's lying, um, not kind of mentioning the fact that I'm sure you haven't spent how many weeks locked up in a house with nine, 18 other battlers in a, you know, very artificial situation like this, where you see who people are, warts and all. Um, he was complaining about the culture showing up for the BS, um, you know, for the fuck shit, but they don't come and check for him for other things. And it's like, yeah, well, you know, the culture does show up for the bullshit. You should know that. <laughs> you should know that. You, Snake Eyes, should know that. You thrive 
off of the bullshit, off of the stuff outside of the battles, off of the promo, off of the build up to the battles, off of contentious situations. So you should understand something like this is going to cause traction. And on top of that, if what, what Rock Lee is saying, then it should be spoken about. It should cause a fuss and, you know, it should be spoken about and called out because women need to feel like they're protected in this culture and that sort of um that sort of aggressive behavior not appreciating a woman has the right to say no um and leaving it at that like that's that's unacceptable um the culture needs to just show up to protect its women to protect black women um he's basically saying you know can't can't the culture can't cancel me. Nothing happened. Um, but he doesn't go into any of the detail that Rock does. I don't know if he's seen what Rock does. And to be honest, um, or to full disclosure, I missed the beginning of his live. So I don't know what he said the first few minutes. I don't know what he was saying before then. But um, we're going to play what he said. Um, so, yeah, listen in his own words. You know. Try to pin certain shit on, but nah, man. That shit ain't it. It's not cool. Everybody has their own perspective, for sure. For sure. But I've been here forever. Never. Come on, man. Stop. 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 And I see what's going on. It's the last time I'm, I'm going to be sitting here even addressing it. I'm not even talking about it no more. Like, I'm here. I'm an MC. What should we be here for? But um, you see, the culture show up for the bullshit though. Make sure y'all stick around though. This is a lot of good shit happening. Make sure y'all stick around. Episode four this Sunday. It's not it. It's not it. What <laughs> dress is for? It's your last time. The guy got to dress shit. I ain't got to dress shit because ain't nothing happened. Like, y'all got to stop. I ain't got to dress nothing and I'm content because ain't nothing happened. Like, come on. Y'all niggas seen the episode? Like, stop, man. The fuck are we, what? Hmm? I'm appalled. Like, shout out to my nigga Cali Smooth, man. Man, listen, man. If you ain't never been on my live and you on this shit, I don't care how you feel, like, coming on here trying to say something. Like, stop, man. Like, come on, man. Niggas that know me know me, son. Y'all gotta stop. Like, it's not it, man. This how you do it, huh? This how you get the people. Negativity. It always brings it out. Cancel. Cancel who? <laughs> like, what? Like, Y'all gotta stop, like. Hilarious. Hilarious. You just gotta stop. It's nothing happened. Nothing happened. Like, what y'all niggas want me to dress? Like, the niggas was drunk and we was conversating and shit like that. Niggas had an argument. Like, like, huh? Huh? Like, bro, it's a snake. Like, I, huh? And, and, bro, when I get off this shit, bro, I get right back to what I was doing. So I have shit going on. Like, I'm not feeding this shit. I'm not giving nobody no clout. None of that. It's not going to happen, man. It's not going to happen, man. But facts, gang, I'm off this, man. Y'all niggas be blessed. It's funny, though. Y'all niggas up. What time is it? It's 1.36 in the morning. Y'all niggas is up thirsty for nothing. For nothing. God bless everybody, man. Go subscribe to Coast the Rain TV. Episode 4 comes out this Sunday. 